Welcome to the Whole Foods Market Recipe Roadshow. Today we're with the creator of Jack's Harvest Frozen Organic Baby Food. Parents rave all about it, so we had to see from Heather Schoenrock. You created this I along did. with your pal. Yes, my friend so, Connie and I. Yeah, so tell us all about it. Um, I was making baby food for my kids and gave some to Connie because her son's about a month younger and she's like, this is all I want to feed my baby. I'll pay you for it. I'm like, I have to pay you for it. I like doing it. And next thing we knew, our friends found out about it and their friends and their friends. And she said, let's start a business. And I'm like, okay, let's start a business. And here we are. Well, and why did you do it as a mom originally? Uh, my daughter Lucy was really sick and we took her to every doctor and tried everything. And I'm kept coming up against organic, organic, organic. And really? she's 10, so there really wasn't an organic product out there. So I started making my own. And then I did it for my other kids. So what are you using? What kind of products are you using? I see this is blueberry-tastic banana. Right, so blueberries and bananas. And one thing we keep in mind is like blueberries shouldn't be cooked or they lose the phytochemicals. So we keep those nice and fresh. We minimally process it. We've got things like our sweet potatoes, but we add vanilla and cinnamon to them. The peas Look are fantastic. They have a little bit of mint in them. You can see they're bright green because well, and, we don't overcook them. And kids don't like to look at peas, you know, right. normally. So right. this kind of hides it. It in a, does. It looks like a little frozen heart. Right. And in fact, people use our food for all kinds of things. Like they'll make um, chicken nuggets out of the sweet potatoes, throw the carrot cubes in their spaghetti sauce for their big kids as well. So it's not just for the babies. So what do I do when I get something like this? Because how many how many pieces are in there? There's 12 one ounce cubes in this, and okay. then with the bigger ones, there's four three ounce cubes. So what you would do, it depends on what you got. Like the sweet potatoes, you can take it out, put it in a glass or ceramic bowl. I don't like to do plastic because you don't want to get that you know yucky stuff in there. Right. Go ahead and heat it up. You can take out as many cubes as you want, so you don't waste anything. And then once you take it out, you can reseal the bag, put it back in the freezer. You can mix this with chicken or fish if you want to do that. You can do all kinds of things with it. Mix the flavors together. So there's a lot of things you can do. And why is this, what is the advantage to this than say that old school jar baby food? Yeah. Well with the jars, they have to superheat it because you want to kill the botulism before you seal it. Okay. With this, because we're going to put it in the freezer, we don't have to overcook the food. That's why our peas stay green because we don't have to cook them to 210 degrees so that we can seal the bottle. So we keep them this way and when they're frozen, it also keeps them the six months and we don't have to add any preservatives. So we didn't that's even huge. add azorbic acid to it. We just keep the pure, fresh food and that's all it is. And I like it because you can just take out what you need. Yeah, and, and I like that because I'm not a mom yet, but I know you said lots of moms like it because you put it in a little bag yeah. and by the time you have your play date, what happens to it? It's a little slushy and it's perfect, especially like the fruits. They're great on a play date. They're also great to send with your kid to preschool. You know, so you could put this in a little Tupperware, send them to school. By the time lunch comes, it's perfect. That's a great idea. Yeah. Now, where do they pick this up? Because it's not in the normal aisle that you think it's going to be in. People are used to going to the jar baby food, but we're in the freezer section of the Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and you just go grab the bags. They're all there. We have fruits and vegetables. You just get what you need. And I love that you actually use special spices, so I'm not worried about salt and sugar already in right. my little one. Right. No salt, no sugar, but we want right. to make it taste great and have the health benefits too. So the mint adds to digestion and it tastes good and this has got cinnamon and vanilla in it which everybody likes in their sweet potatoes. Definitely and yeah. I heard even the moms are using this maybe at a moms, smoothie thing like this in the morning. margaritas and their yogurt. Um, you can add the apple sauce to your pancakes so there's a lot of fun things you can do with the food. And how many different flavors are there total? We have 10 different flavors and we have a lot of cool recipes on the website as well. You know like Ziki Chef recipes, how to use the baby food and different things. That's huge isn't yeah, it? Yeah it's fun. So do the kids like it? That's what really matters. The kids love it. Okay. Uh, and, and big kids to little kids. I mean, we did a tasting here and we had 70 year old people and we had babies. So all different kinds of people, once they try it, they're like, this is really good. And that's the whole point. I didn't understand why baby food should taste horrible. Exactly. You know, where you taste it and you go, oh, here you go. And the smell sometimes. It smells bad. Too. This smells nice and fresh and it tastes really good too. Well, now it's only $7.49 each, but like you said, there's 12 pieces in yes. here. So that's yeah. huge. And if you come in tomorrow, they've got a 50 cent coupon up at customer service. Okay, so yes. you can look for the 50% coupon up at the Whole Foods customer service located Highway 17 and Houston Northcutt located in Mount Pleasant. You can go online to your website yes. because you know parents like to investigate sometimes. Right. So what's your website? www.jacksharvest.com. Well, welcome to Charleston. Thank I know you're you. excited. I love I it being here. I do. You know, we have so many families here. We know to embrace it. Yeah, Definitely. good. Well, you know, stay with us. What a great idea. It's one of those ones that said, "Why didn't I think of that?" <laughs> we'll be right back.